Well, hello, good people. In this tutorial, we are going to talk about PHP 7 functions. Now, what are functions? Functions are very interesting and helpful thing in PHP. And the language has more than a thousand built-in functions. For example, the implode or explode function that uh, destroys uh, a string and splits it up into an array or uh, vice versa, that takes an array and uh, glues it together to a string. We already talked about different functions. Uh, return basically is a function. There's a lot of things to learn here. And uh, today we are going to create our own functions, okay? And that's the definition again. These are blocks of code that execute in isolation with the local scope. And well, important to know is that function names are case insensitive. So it's not important how you call them and they are defined in a global scope, obviously, and you can even reference them before being defined. Now, what does that mean? Let's get right to it and create a function for ourselves. okay? This is how you would start. You would always start with the function keyword. Then, next word, will be the function name. You can start with an underscore or a letter. Numbers are not allowed. You can use them within your function name though. And well, underscores are not recommended because there's magic functions and constants and stuff. And well, just don't start with underscores because these are partly reserved. Just start with a letter, okay? In this function, well, what should it do? Well, the, the goal of a function is that it takes a code snippet and uses it anytime we need it. So for example, if you were a realtor, all right, or you know a realtor and he says, well, write me a program and this program, it should always print out square meter of a place. And you go ahead and say, okay, so we call this square meter and put the regular brackets and curly brackets in the next line. Now, to calculate square meter of a room or a whole apartment, you need two variables, all right? So let's go ahead and declare them. And we call them length and width, all right? Obviously, you have to do a multiplication here with both these variables. And you want this to be echoed out anytime you call the function. And this is how you could do it. All right, you could also return it. We just echo it out here. So length times width. This is the thing that he wants to calculate a lot of times and he doesn't want to do it uh, in a procedural way and always declare these variables from, from scratch. He just wants a function that does that for him. All right. Now, if we call this function here, here you go. I already have it in my suggestions. Then I put the parentheses and a semicolon, and this is how you would call a function. It's that easy. Now, but if I refresh that, you would see an error. Well, why do we see an error here? Easy, because the variables length and width are undefined. Well, obviously, there's no place in my program where I told the function what, what these variables actually are. So, important thing is, I have to put the variables that are being passed to the function. I have to put those separated by a comma in the parentheses up here. So now the function knows, okay, if I am being called, I will have two arguments passed to me in the parentheses that would be here. And then these are the variables I can work with. All right, let's save this and hit refresh. Now we get an, a different error. This is important. And let's read it together. Too few arguments are passed to function square meter. Well, obviously when I call it, there's absolutely no argument passed. Okay. Zero passed to expect it. Perfect. Now let us say that the room, the realtor wants to calculate. It has seven meters in length, comma, and five meters in width okay it's a rather big room or maybe it's the whole apartment we don't know if we refresh that we get 35. now to beautify this a little let's concatenate that 
with a square meter sign. Okay, perfect. So now you see, you passed the numbers seven and five and the function in absolutely saw that you passed those two arguments and it says, okay, he passed me seven. This is my value for the variable length. He passed me five, which will be the value for the variable width. Now I have two numbers that I can calculate with. I have seven, I have five, and I echo that out, which is 35. So you can always use this function now and calculate this thing. You don't always have to write this whole piece of code. You can just go ahead and called square meter with two arguments, 10 and six, why not? It's a huge place and echo it out. Unexpected end of file, well, you should always put a semicolon. This is important. And here you should put a new line and here we go. We have 35 square meters and an error. That is because we didn't call it right. But we can use this uh, occasion here to show you that even if I put a capital S here, it still works, okay? This is not case sensitive. You can call it with a capital S. I don't know if that works. I never tried it. Maybe you can capital E where even that works, all right? So you can put whatever, <laughs> just the word has to be correct like we just saw. So people, that's basically it. That's all there is to say for the basics now. Well, obviously there's a ton of more things that you can talk about here. But um, for today, I think this will be enough. We, can, we will dive deeper into this topic um, as we continue with our curriculum. Now, I have an exercise for you. Let's put it here. <sighs> Create a function that calculates 75% of the number you pass to it. That's it, okay? Very basic, create a function that calculates 75% of the number you pass to it. You choose the number, okay? So stop the video, try to do this exercise, and I see you back in a minute. Perfect, there we go. Now I erase all this, and let's write the 75% function together. Now, I call it function, it's a keyword, and I call it 75, because why not? It gets one argument, which is the number, new line, curly brackets, and this function should echo out num times 0.75. I will concat that with a new line like I always do. And here we go. Now, <laughs> first mistake, I misspelled function. Function 75 takes the argument number and multiplies it by 0.75, which is 75%. Now, I call the function 75, I give it the number 10, just because that this way we can see if it's correct. And here we go, we have 7.5, perfect. Now, just for testing purposes, let's check again. And let's take min, um, minus two, just to see what happens. Well, per perfect, it's uh, minus 1.5, so even that works. And now let's try with an uneven number just to see what happens here 5.25 okay so it seems to be working just fine well perfect if you are close to this solution very good there is as always there are several ways to do this you could also not echo it out you could return it and uh, or store it in a variable this is important because now and um, the variable num of course it's local it's in the in, in the function and if you would want to try to uh, use this number like the result 5.25 either you can store it in a variable in here and echo that out or you can go ahead and assign this uh, result to a well result down here okay and now you can just go ahead and echo out result and you will have 5.25 25 again, okay? Here we go. 
That's how we would do it, okay? We declare variable result and we store the value of this function with seven in it and here we echo it out. There we go. Perfect, guys, I hope this was helpful. I wish you a good day and I see you in the next tutorial.